Go ahead, read that again. Huh? So we were going back into before the camera shut off about how the Lord, how the Lord um, lifted His power up, man, showing His power by putting these devils over us, man. Go ahead, huh? Uh, this is Romans 9 and 22. Right. What if Yahweh, willing to show His wrath and to make His power known, endure with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted? for destruction. And these Edomites, man, they was only created to be destroyers, man, to be the wicked, to ruin everything about the world, man. That's their job. So we can't really get mad. First off, we got to deal with the iniquity that we did against the Lord. So we got to deal with this judgment. We got to deal with being in captivity, seeing the wicked. Oh, how the wicked prosper, but the righteous always die, man. The, the, the wicked prosper while the righteous suffer. We got to deal with this, man. Because the Lord is long suffering, man. But guess what this do? This builds up our faith, man. This builds up our patience. This makes us strong, man. We are strengthening Yahweh by Shem Yahweh because we see the madness that's going on out here. And we don't give two fucks about it, man. Excuse my friend. We don't care, man. It is what it is. It's a part of the Lord showing his power, man. Like, we can't run up on these on these wicked Israelites and these Edomites and want to kill them. We got to stay patient and humble, man, and just deal with it because it's the power of the Lord, man. Our, our job is just deliver the message, lift up our voice like a trumpet, and show our people their transgression and show them how wicked they going out for following these Edomites, doing the same thing the Edomites doing. Our people that's out here doing the same thing Esau Edom doing, the so-called white man. Our people following the ways of the ones who rule the earth. This is Psalms 82, verse 1. You got a question, man? You're a Hebrew, you're a Hebrew Israelite, sister. Rejecting the Lord. The Lord gonna reject you. Yeah, I don't even touch Come. your neck, man. Come. Yeah, I was standing in the congregation of the mighty. My bad. Psalms 82 and 1. Right. Yeah, I was standing in the congregation of the mighty. That's the elect, man. He judges among the gods. How long will you judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked? Right. Salah. Defend the poor and fatherless. Do justice. Do justice. To the afflicted and, the, and needy. Right. Deliver the poor and needy. Rid them out of the hand of the wicked. That's the weak hand and feeble knees, man. That we supposed to be out here strengthening. Oh, yeah, huh? They know not. Neither will they understand. Right. They walk on in darkness. That's that chick, brother. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Beautiful. They, said, they know not. Neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. Gone, man. Gone. That's why, what is that, Psalm 110 and 3? In the day of thy power, these people shall be willing, man. This is on 2nd Edges, chapter 7, verse 6 and 7. For if he shall not multiply his mercy, the world will not continue with them that inherit therein. Right, right. <laughs> Read that one more time. Second Edges chapter seven verse six and seven. Right. Yep. For if he shall not multiply his mercies, the world will not continue with them that inherit therein. Right. Listen, man. If if you had to multiply the mercy. Right, bro. Just to let this motherfucker continue. Right, bro. That's that long suffering, man. Man. The, the Lord is slow to anger, man. But Yahweh shall like. Boy, I can't wait until like, you let me off in time yet. Boy, look at you. Like the prophet. Yeah, like the prophet. Like yeah, that's how I'm saying. You wake up every day. It's now your hour. Right. Now, Lord, I'm no, not I'm now. Now, Lord, no, not now. Now, Oh, that's Lord. that green pastures, right? Yeah. <laughs> green pastures. Oh, no, what that was? What? What movie that was? That was in a movie, too. Oh, when he was saying that? Yeah. Oh, Y'all ever seen Green Pastures? No, I never heard of it. No, I never seen Green Pastures.
it's, it's got the most highs as a, as a so-called black man. It's a black and white film. You gotta watch From it. Back in the day? Yeah. And it's got the all the all the angels are black, so-called black, the most high black, Noah black. Right. The Lord come down to talk to Noah. He's, he's and sitting that there one with the James having the fish fry? And yeah, fish, yeah. I seen the clip. They said the Lord the coming. They all tried to get their stuff I seen together. The they heard the Lord was coming. I gotta What's watch the name that. Of it? Green, Green pastures. pastures. I gotta tell you that. I seen I seen the trailer on it though. You said pastures? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's an old movie. Yeah. Yeah, man. So the Lord, man. The Lord long suffering, man. It's slow to anger, man. So uh, in our way, it'd be like these Jakes. It, they they digging a deep ditch. They digging a deep ditch, a 30 feet ditch, and they can't get out of it with a 50 feet ladder, man. All that was done to our nation by the, by the enemy, which is the so-called white man, brother. The Bible say that they are, the, they are our enemy. Oh, he, he is like, bro. All right, brother. Huh? I'm a Hebrew Israelite. Okay, okay, that was up. I thought for a reason, bro. For sure. Oh, for sure. That's a blessing. Yeah, so Esau, Edom, they, they, they end, they, they kingdom is finished, man. They are going down, man. Okay? The Lord say, you know, Ecclesiastes, better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof, man. And true little oppression make us mad, man. And the Lord say, you um, and the Lord say, um, um, be angry but sin not, man. So we destroy it every day, man. White man dynasty, let him white be white man dynasty. This ain't white man dynasty, it's always been our dynasty. Well, well, that's a white man destiny. His no, destiny. No, no, no. Really white oh, yeah, his, right, come, come. White man dynasty. Right, this is the kingdom, right. Uh, all right. Right, right, come, come. It's like the Romans, the European, come. and slaves. Right. Those white man dynasty. Yeah, true, true, come. I, I, I'm a Hebrew Israelite, bro. I know my shit, bro. I ain't trying to talk. That's what they are here for, too. Yeah, I don't know what they're Everybody ain't speaking a little bit of knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay, what are you talking about right here, bro? How y'all fellas doing, though, man? We good, brother. How y'all doing? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Dropping that knowledge, yeah. Bro. Keep dropping that knowledge, yeah. Dropping that knowledge, bro. Right. So, bro. So, hey, y'all, boy, be easy, man. All right. So, so, bro. Who this is that, brother? Oh, yeah, you, you know, good? You man. good? Brothers, it's all good, brother. We all right, fam, brother. All right. Hey, y'all, boy, be easy, right. man. Right. Hey, man, Jake waking up, man. Hey, 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 you see the spirit on that, Jake? Spirit. He gonna slay some Edomites to death, man. <laughs> oh, that nigga oh. gonna hang some nigga. Oh, that nigga, that, 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 hey, that Jake, that gonna hang some Edomites, boy. Hey, you so-called white people in trouble, man. Oh, when them race wars straight. kick off, like hey, boy, look at here. <laughs> that Jake, that spirit, hey, boy, he turned up right now. Up hey, now. he ready to slay them demons right now, boy. <laughs> I'm telling you, boy. Hey, boy, when this race right kick off, boy, you Edomites in trouble. You Edomites is in trouble, man. Hey, let's get second air 15, uh, 16, 15 and 16, man. Let's just get a couple precepts out of there, man. Because that spirit just changing. Hey, the Lord got the spirit changing. Hey, boy, Five Jake percent. read it, boy. Huh? Go ahead, huh? <laughs> Micah chapter 5, verse 8. Beautiful. <laughs> As the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles oh, in the midst of many people, <laughs> As a lion among the beasts of the forest, oh, as a young lion among the flocks of sheep, who, if he go through, both treadeth down and teareth in pieces, and none can deliver. Hey, man. Hey, boy, when you got a lion chasing out the, a, a damn gazelle, man, hey, once that lion gets his hand on a gazelle, man, guess what? It's over. Okay? The whole head might come off, man. Hey. Jake finna be 
I'm talking about when you go to Leviticus, it tell you Leviticus 26 and 7, that 10 of us shall put 10,000 of them to flight, man. Okay? Listen, man. <laughs> Hey. The weak shall be like King David. Hey, man. Boy, look at here. You Edomites going to... Oh, and you Moabites, uh, you Ammonites, y'all going to be in trouble, man. Okay, you Hamites, man. All you Elamites, y'all going to be in trouble, man. Hey, hey man. Jake was ready to just rip the paper. He was ready to rip the paper apart, man. Hey, he was... Hey, <laughs> hey right. Hey, this is uh, hey, a clear Jake, white Hey, Jake seen that. This is uh, the white man Destiny. He ready to rip the sign apart, yeah, man. Because Esau you was on them. Yeah, yeah, he ready to get on me. He ready to get on me. He said, I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. No disrespect, man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but you man. know what? That show you that Jake got a lot of uh, a frustration towards these so-called white people, man. Right, man. Jake got a lot of frustration jacked up uh, and puffed up because of the so-called white man. And what does he do? Jake go back to the uh, projects and he take it out on each other, man. Yep, yep, that's exactly but the time is coming where that anger and that frustration is going to be focused on the so-called white man where it belongs, man. Oh, man. I, I'm about to Good for you, eat them mics. The, the, the brother already brought it out. I'm just going to bring it out anyway. Right. Please ask me seven and, seven and seven. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad. Right. Surely. And, and a gift destroyed the heart. Right, man. You can't give me no gift, Esau. I don't want the FRNs. Because <laughs> a lot of gifts are destroyed, Jake, man. But what does it profit if a man gain the world and lose, lose his own soul? soul. Come on. And if I can say this, it says surely, meaning it, it is going to happen, not might, it is. Right. That's it's a fact. You, that's what you see happening in Haiti right now, man. They oppressed. Oh, they man. They're in the uproar. What, what, the president took over, what is that, three million? Because a gift destroyed the heart. Right. And, and ultimately, it destroys the people. And they want to know where they money at, man. What 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 they what they relief funded at, man? President of Haiti took all the money, and he, and he 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 paid for for uh, mercenaries, mercenaries to uh, kill them, man. Killing people in the because they want to know where they money at, man. And he only took a he only got a small a crumb small of that portion. because when you go into that hurricane relief, that uh, earthquake relief for Haiti, a lot of them so-called white people set up funds and pocketed those funds, man. Hillary took what, eight billion? That's a crazy oh, amount man. of money. And they pocketed those funds, and man. Slaughter millions. Yeah, and man. now they got the UN all in there abusing children and abusing young women. Right. Come on, man. The so-called white man is the devil. Anytime he give you something, you gotta know what come with that, man. That's why uh the, the president of, of Venezuela said that the humanitarian aid they, they trying to give us that ain't no aid. Right. That's how you going the man asked me his money the back. The man asked for his gold back. He said, nah, we're going to shut that, we're going to shut this account down. We're going to give it to Guido, but we're going to send some aid in there from your own money. That's why he said it's say aid. Aid, hey, that ain't even going to do nothing. What that little bit of aid going to do? Now, they don't get down and build a military base. That's all they going to do. Esau going man, to your country. He's going to be desolate. Straight <laughs> waste. That put Venezuela in that situation in the first place, yeah. them sanctions and terror. And so that oil that jacking up them gas prices so and low or, or making those what he ended up doing was making those oil prices so cheap. Oil was so cheap, that was their number one source of income. The commodity. So they made that oil so cheap that the, it, it crashed the economy. That's crazy. They call them economic hitmen. That's crazy. Bro. Esau, That's man, wild. Esau's the devil, man. And they put out all that propaganda. They got everybody over here thinking, oh, he, uh, uh, Maduro, Maduro, the president over there, ran the country into the ground. Right. If that ain't a deceiver, Dang I don't it, know. Yeah. Come on, bro. Like, that, that's some. That's why, that's why the Lord said, be not deceived. These same so called white people in 2019 is the same ones from the 1600s, the 1700s, and the 50s, man. They ain't change. They ain't change. You know, even even Jake got that saying. You know, he got a little change. He done changed. Nah, not not Esau. Esau got changed, and he's still a, a, a psychopathic killer, man. Oh, beautiful point. Lord say in Malachi, in Malachi three and six, he changed not right. So he required that which is past. 
So they need Edomites ain't changed like the brother, like the brother just said, man. They ain't damn changed, man. So-called white men are the devil, man. Go ahead, dog. And this all his friends, man. You got a brother Salah. This is Ecclesiastes chapter, chapter seven, verse ten. I mean, chapter twelve, verse ten. Never trust our enemy. Ooh. For like iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Can't trust him, man. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed. And beware of him. Hey, that's a devil, man. Go crotch. Like this one coming by right now, crotch. And Go thou ahead. shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking, a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust hath not been altogether, altogether wiped away. Because what they do is they just hide it, man. They got, they got ways of just hiding their wickedness, man. And they can't even hide it at this point. When you go in the, if, if you in 2019 and you still got to tell a so-called white man to stop wearing blackface, it's a problem. If you're in 2019 and your people still get treated like second-class citizens, though your nation built this country, his rust, it's not all going away. He's still the same person. But then, oh, hey, yeah. Didn't the Most High say we all come back in our own life? Right. So right. how they going to change, huh? They can't change. How are they going to change? Can a leopard change his spots? Right. This is Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. Be not deceived. Yahweh is not mocked. Nope. So they try to mock him, man. Try to run game on us, try to run game on the people, saying they changed, you know, they freed us. Right, right, all right, this right. bullshit to trick us, man. Oh, right. we just I just adopted three, four little babies. Yeah, he's not mocked, man. All right, Angelina Jolie. Your heart. <laughs> but didn't they do that? they then adopt they adopt a so-called black child, a black uh, son, and put him in a dress. Right. Oh, when you go Charlize Theron or what, however you say her name, she uh, adopted a black son, and now she got this uh, this child walking around with dresses and wearing uh, female hairdos, man. Right. When you look into it in the adoption, right, the hardest children to adopt are black males, so-called black males. Right. You know, they don't. Nobody wants to get them. But a lot of these uh, homosexual, especially men, they'll have three, four little black boys, man. Why is that? Raising them up. Them up. Raise, raising hey, up that Sodom and Gomorrah, one man. One of the uh, brothers did a video with the two, the two uh, homosexual faggots. Kissing. Yeah, 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 I saw that. Uh, they, 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 they got locked up for adopting nine kids and was molesting them. And, and matter of fact, they took a picture with a little Jake baby. Not right. even no more than what? Not even not <laughs> a couple old. months? A couple <laughs> months old? And hey, you got to pay, but you got to pay for that, old. man. Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived, Yahweh is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. That's it, man. What goes around comes around. Right. Right. And now and now you're in 2019 in your own kingdom getting cussed out. <laughs> now I done got to that point where you got Negroes on the corner telling these so-called white people they the devil, and they are. Standing in great bonus. It ain't no, it ain't no rocket scientist. You look at the works of the so-called white man. Under the so-called white man, you have two world wars. Going on the third world war, you got global pollution. You got a, a, a destroyed economy on currency that's not real currency. And the list goes on. Basically, you're saying his works do follow him. Exactly. That's why you is the real white niggas. <laughs> you the real niggas. Well, at, well and now they're the new, the so-called white man is the new nigga, man. Cause now he's getting called out on the streets, man. Then these Edomites, they still 2019, and they made no account of our labels, man. No account. Not one, man. Hey, hey, you right. See, you see, you see the uh, the Edomite uh, came on uh, CNN trying to give us uh, a couple billion in reparations. Oh, I'm gonna do a video on that shit. Oh, uh, hey, somebody did. Edomite chick, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got, I, I got it in my phone. I watched it. She see us over. I'm well, go hey, well, well, what did the Most High say? The trees of Lebanon are not sufficient to burn. Right. It ain't nothing you're going to be able to give us right. that's going to compensate right. the blood right. of the saints. Oh, exactly. uh, Job 20. It said that children shall seek to please the poor. I don't want your damn reparations. It's over with. We don't want that shit. Joe. It's over with. We want your blood, man. You can't bond out of an execution. Like a... Gun. Like when Jake, uh, when Jake get uh, hit for murder, 
And he's sitting on death row. He can't stack up his change and pay his way out of that. Right. He got to take that whole ride. That nigga try to get his lawyer. He can't bond out of death row? Hey, no. That nigga, nigga try to get his lawyer. Hey, see, give me a bond. Just let me get out for a couple days. You can't take out a whole bunch of payday loans and get your way out of execution. Just like Esau not going to be able to get out of his judgment, man. Hey. You tell me I can't go to Am Scott. Right. And now Straight it's too up. late. Now it's too late. Hey, hey. You wanna snitch out? You wanna pop out like six nine problems? Bitch, you don't, you, you don't, you don't call the land out your own name. You try to get a free deal. You try to cop out. You try to get a free deal. Right. Oh yeah, right, right. I'm gonna give him this money. Now he desperately searching the scriptures, trying to find salvation, and it's nothing for him. And there's nothing for him. The Lord ain't got nothing for him but a chain and fire. He gonna wear that chain for a stack, and then he gonna hit that fire. He gonna take a, a, a flame bath. Right now, you got it. That fire gonna wash all that dirt off. They love the hot tub. <laughs> Got it? Ooh, ooh, that's uh I can't think of it off the top. What is it? The children shall complain of an ungodly father. Oh, that's um uh, eleven. Uh I think Sirach eleven. And that's, that's a, Edomites. That's Esau Edom. And that perpetual reproach is happening now. Right. Because now it's like nowhere, it's nowhere the so-called white man can go where he does not feel threatened. Right. And nobody's physically doing anything to him. He's just being called out for who he is. Right. Through the scriptures, man. Just the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. And they are terrified. Go ahead. The children will complain of an ungodly father. Right. Because they shall be reproached for his sake. Hey, they shall be reproached for his father's sake. That's Isaiah 14 and 21, man. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. Read that again, huh? Verse 7, Ecclesiastes 41, verse 7. The children will complain of an ungodly father because they shall be reproached for his sake. Right. Woe be unto you the ungodly men which have forsaken the law of the Most High. Right. For if you increase, it shall be to your destruction. Now, when it say woe to you, who ungodly men have forsaken the law of the Lord, that's how much you two-thirds of Israel. Exactly. Because can't nobody get the laws but you so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American, West Indian, and Haitian. Read that again. Woe unto you ungodly men, which have forsaken the law of the Most High. Right. For if you increase, it shall be to your destruction. That's, when it say, hey, that's beautiful. It say, to them that increase, it shall be to your destruction. That's those that have received benefits and have not known the Lord. Your benefits, uh, your, 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 
your government assistance, your uh, your habitat housing, your Section 8, okay, your Social Security disability, or if you're in the entertainment world, okay? All the benefits that you have received from so-called white man, Esau Edom, you're gonna be destroyed for that, man, because a gift destroys the heart, man, okay? And just like the brother just said earlier, man, woe to him, hey, if you gain the whole world and lose your own soul, man, Go ahead. Verse 9. And if ye be born, you shall be born to a curse. Mm. And if you die, a curse shall be your portion. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. But I hey. show you, man, Jake is curse coming in and, and curse going out. Come. That is the curses. Wow. This is uh Job. Since he went into that. This is Job uh 27 and verse 13. And it reads, this is the portion of a wicked man with power and the heritage of oppressors, which they shall receive of the Almighty. If his children be multiplied, it is for the sword. And his offspring shall not be satisfied with bread. Job 18 and 5. Beautiful. Yea, the life of the wicked shall be put out. Right. Spark of his fire shall not shine. Right. The light shall be dark in his tabernacle, and his candles shall be put out with him. Right. The steps of his own strength shall be straightened, and his own counsel shall cast him down. Hey, that's why when you read the Proverbs, they tell you that by counsel do they make war, man. The Lord said by his own counsel, man, he gonna fall on his own sword. That's why he said is there no more uh, wisdom and treatment. Right, 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 con, huh? Uh, verse 8, for he is cast into a net by his own feet, right. and walketh upon a snare. <laughs> the jinn shall take him by the hills, and the robber shall prevail against him. Hey, that jinn is that trap that's going to get your ass, man. That same net that you set up to catch that, uh, that wild boar, your ass is going to get caught up in it. Well, the same devil. net he trying to use to kill Jake. He using Gun. Planned Parenthood, he using oh, rap man. music. You know, he using all of these weapons Vaccine to try to destroy shots. to destroy our people. Gun, huh? But that same snare is going to be turned against him, and the Lord is going to do the job in his fullness. Uh, verse 10. The snare is laid for him in the ground, hmm. and a trap for him in the way. Hey, it's just like, hey, it's covered up with leaves. You can't even see it. You just walking. <laughs> Right. He ain't even expected it. Right. He out there on the on the prey on his hunt, and the most high hunting him. Good. He goes upside down. Upside down. Upside down. Hanging by his ankles. Verse <laughs> seven. Uh, the the eleven. Terrors shall make him afraid on every, every side, and shall drive him to his feet. Right. Is more on that. Drive to the king of terrors. All the yeah, yeah, man. Cause this is a hey, this is about you Edomites, man. You so-called white people, man. This is hey, let me tell you something. When Joel, listen, when Joel was going in, man, what was Joel living at? In the land of Uz, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the Edomite. All Joel saw was wicked ass Edomites, man, prospering in the world, man. So he stayed writing about them devils, man. That's why, that's why the spirit. Right, bro. Right, man. Bro. So All Joe wrote about man. was wicked ass Edomite. Bro. He said, "I would not disdain to have them amongst the dogs of my flock." He was round, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the scripture tell you in Proverbs that a righteous man regards the life of his beast, man. Joe say he wouldn't even sit these Edomites around his dog, cause they either gonna eat the dog. They gonna have sex with the dog, or they gonna get the dog noodled, man. Because they do wicked shit like that. Yo, man, Joe was in Uz, man. All he saw was Edomites. Living good. Wicked Edomites living good. Well, just like you said, Thessalonians, until that son of perdition be revealed. Right. And uh, now, now everything is starting to add up. You know, and it's beginning with the Lord using the men of the Lord to bring it out. Like, when you look at the works of the so-called white man, it's simple. 
And all of our people knew it. They just didn't know that he was Esau Edom. They didn't know he was Cain. And even though two-thirds rejected, the elect are going to be sealed by this understanding. Right. Done. Good. You got, you got. Going on that. Uh, verse 12. His strength shall be hunger bitten, and destruction shall be ready at his side. Right. It shall devour the strength of his skin. Even the firstborn of death shall devour his strength. Mm. His confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle. Right. And who's the firstborn of death? Right. I was just thinking about that too. I was just thinking. About who's the firstborn of death, man? Come on. Hey. I shall not meet thee as a man. Come on, man. Yeah, how was shot, man? Was the firstborn of death, man? Hey, this, I was just here better tell Job, just Job about. is talking about you damn devils, man. Right. Because it's your pride of your heart and have deceived you. Right. That's what Job is saying. Right. You're that a pride. You, you're in a trick bag, man. Bro, I don't know Job gym, wrote the about the the damn Edomite, bro. Yeah. The whole book of Job is about Edomites, man. What's the beef, Bob? <laughs> this the beef, man. Go uh, ahead. It said, uh, his confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle, and it shall bring him to, to the, the king, king of, of terror. terror. Come on, man. It shall dwell in his tabernacle because it is none of his. It's none of yours, man. Brimstone shall be scattered upon his habitation. Oh, man, that's, that's about some BMs, man. man. Yeah. It says his roots shall be dried up beneath and above all his, all his branch be cut off. I mean, there's going to be nothing remaining of the house of Esau, man. Verse 17. His remembrance shall perish from the earth. Yeah, and he shall have no more, he shall have no name in the street. Nothing. Where Esau? Who is Esau? Right. Who is that? He shall be driven from light into darkness and chased out of the world. Hey, boy, he shall neither have son nor nephew among right. his people, right. nor any remaining in his dwelling. Hey, that's what well, if I can say this, that's a that's a beautiful thing because what did Job say? He was driven forth from among men. So what is the most high gonna do? He's gonna drive him out of the world completely. A shadow of things to come. I'll read it over. Job 18 and 18. He shall be driven from light into darkness. <laughs> chased out of the world. <laughs> he shall neither have son nor nephew among his people nor any remaining in his dwelling. They that come after him shall be astonished at his day, as they that went before were affrighted. Wow, wow, that says a lot, man. It says, uh, surely such are the dwellings of the wicked, and this is the place of him that knoweth not the hour. Right, that's good, right. That's good on that, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Cold cut. Cold cut, bro. And, 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 but yet, that show you how simple our people are, because they follow after this man's ways, not even knowing what his end shall be. You know, it says that, uh, I forget where it said in uh, Sirach, where it says, uh, judge not the uh, ungodly before death. Right. You know, because at the end of the day, the end of the so-called white man is so disgusting that you wouldn't want to be Bill Gates. You rather be you rather be yourself as an Israelite in any given status that you in, even in the lowest status, than to be the richest Edomite. Who with the foot cut off? Worst day is our best day. Right, because because you can be a you could be a penthouse Edomite, but you know how that go. You know how that's gonna end, right? Eventually, how is Shai gonna knock on your door? You gonna sit on the ground? Hey, eventually he gonna come and knock on your door. That eventually that servant is gonna have to get up off that horse. And that's the time we in now, man. You're not going to do that. You're not on your own account. You ain't going to willingly get up off. They're going to drag you off that horse, man. Right. Man, the worst thing you can be here is a penthouse eater, man. No words. Real, huh? Real. Listen, man. Let me bring this out real quick. This is basically just to, go, just to go into the point. Just to go into the point that God, it was getting kind of close, man. Oh, yeah. I thought, I thought, uh, most I might have delivered a, a, we, a, come. I'm ready to grab one of them bitches by the esophagus. Rip that bitch out there. <laughs> hey, and when, when the Lord allow 
when the Lord allowed judgment to rain on Esau, it's going to rain. It's going to pour on that man. It's going to pour on that man. That's why it's going to put the fear of Yahweh Bashim al in the other nations. Because they're going to see how Esau is actually treated for what he's actually done. And they're going to flee wickedness to the best of their ability, man. Right. That's why there ain't going to be no more wars. They go, you might have rebellions, but you're not going to have wars. Because they're going to see the power of Yahweh Bashim al man. And they're going to know what time it is at that day. To see a whole nation get burnt up and, <laughs> and dissolved, chased out of the world. Come on, man. That's power. That's why the Lord said he was going to set them in order before your sight. Because he was like, I kept silent for so long, you thought I was with you. But I'm going to start to set them in order. And that's what you see now. And they bug out and they laugh at first, but then they're going to start pleading for mercy because it's actually going to play out. Esau's finished, man. Psalm chapter 35 verse 19 let not them that are my enemies wrongfully rejoice over me neither let them wink the, with, wink with the eye that hate me without a cause for they speak not peace but they devise deceitful matters against them that are quiet in the land yea they drop their mouth wide against me and said aha aha that I have seen it this thou hast seen O Lord Oh, keep not, not, keep not silence, O oh Lord, be not far from me. Stir up thyself and awake my, to my judgment, right. even unto my cause, my God and my Lord. Judge me, O Yahweh, by Shemuel Rashad, my power, according to thy righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Right. Let them not say in their hearts, ah, so we would have it. Let them not say we have swallowed him up. Let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together that rejoice our mind heart, let them be clothed with shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me. Right, that's how my wicked man. That's how my these Edomites and anybody else that's coming up against the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. David said, protect him. I got a precept basically to back up what you just read. This is Psalm 36 and 11. It reads, let not the foot of the pride come against me and let not the hand of the wicked remove me there are the workers of iniquity fallen they are cast down and should not able to be able to rise so that's that's the wicked Esau Edom is the wicked man it's no wickeder than the Edomites man these other heathen nations it's no other nation that is more wicked than Esau Edom the so-called white man and it's over with, man. Now we in that time where the uh, washing your feet in the blood of the wicked begins. Now that's that part that 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 of that bitter taste, that aftertaste of being drunk off of that wine. That's the time that we in. You got it, bro. Yeah, man. These Edomites are done, man. The kingdom is finished. Hey, rejoice and be glad, you damn devils, man. But your time is up, man. Hey, and though it tarry, wait for it. It will surely come. It will not tarry, man. Though it seem like it's taking a while, man, guess what? It really ain't, man. It really is not taking a long time, man. It seems like it to us. But guess what? The wicked is being judged every day. We just don't see it, man. What, uh, what's that song? Time is on our side, right. because we at that time. Well, look, we yeah. almost we almost yeah. to eternity, right. and Esau's almost to extinction. I would say the time is in our favor. Yeah, in that movie Fallen with Denzel. Yeah, yeah, cause cause that's the time we in. Where death angels are going are, are, are going to be out here in the world, man. See, all this judgment, the Lord got to put people to death to show them what time it is before we can get to that good part, where we can go down to Elam and get some nice garments, you know, right. and, and talk shop with uh, the princes of Ishmael. Right. Right now, it's enemy. What Jake say about a, a rival gang is killer. For us, it's killer on all opposition, man. 
If you're not of Yasha Allah, you are an enemy, man. Even two thirds of our own people. Until the dust settle, it's enemy. Everybody that's against Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah is enemy, man. It's killer. And the Lord is gonna manifest that, man. Yo, man, we, it, it, hey, the spiritual powers is on us right now, man. Cause it takes a bold spiritual man to stand out here and proclaim the word of the Lord, man. Okay? To proclaim the year of your Howard shot returning, man. But then, but then the Lord opened your eyes and then you actually see like this, the so-called white man ain't nobody, man. He's a nobody. He nobody, man. <laughs> hey, 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 they just a nobody with money, man. And half of them don't even got no fucking money. I mean, that's a, he's the typical uh, person with all the, uh, all the material stuff and still no self-esteem. Still a demon. Still, still unsatisfied. That's why the Lord said, what is it gain to have the whole world and lose your soul, man? Jake is chasing what Esau got, and Esau killing himself with what he has, man. Come on, come on. Everybody in this world is missing something, man. Right. They really missing this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. It's true. We were missing it. But we found it, so now we're content. We're still miserable because we want to get out of here. And that scares people. Because what you brought up is uncertainty. And that's what people all share a common understanding of uncertainty. Maybe the most high exists, maybe not. Maybe right, right, right. if he no, do exist. Exactly. And and when and when they see brothers out here standing on faith. That scares the world, which is why they try to come up against it. Because they're trying to figure out, what has you so convinced that I can't get? Right, right. Why the hell y'all standing out here like, it's party night. Go have a good time. Go get some drinks. And whether or not they admit it, they really consider it to themselves. Right. They may laugh and right, smoke. Right, right, but right. at the end of the day, they really sit back like, damn, these guys out here every damn week, man. People are afraid of things they don't understand. That's just plain and simple. Afraid of what they don't understand. See her, the king. Yeah. I want to bring this out because y'all was talking about. I'll, I'll wait. Wait, real quick. Uh, Isaiah 19 and 14. The Lord has mingled a perverse spirit. Because I keep seeing these, these damn I know, bro. abominations, man. Get them a nerve, man. <laughs> the Lord has mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof. And they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof. Yeah. As a drunken man staggered in his vomit. It, and it's backwards, man. You got a, you got a, uh, you got this Western thought system where the woman rules. She's the head of household now. She, all the cards are in her favor. And now Esau and the majority of the men of this world don't even want women no more. Right. Which is gonna work out <laughs> in the favor of the men of the Lord. And it's gonna work out in the dismay of the rest of the nations, man. Because the so-called, uh, the so-called, the, the female is gonna find out that she's not everything that the so-called white man put up to be, man. Right. Right. This world is backwards, man. That's why they call it the Western world, the Western thought. That's the, and that's really what it is when they talk about democracy. Because over there in the East land, you still have nations like Elam. In the, in the Elamite wedding, the man is celebrated more than the woman. I didn't even know that until today. At my job, they had a, 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 a East, what they call East Indian or South Asian wedding. Right. And they were, uh, the man was celebrated more than the woman. The woman had to wait at the altar for the man to get up there. And when you go into Is, uh, Ishmael, they still right. paying dowries for, their, uh, for the, uh, their brides. They still pay a dowry. And that's scriptural. So if you wanted a bride in the scriptures, you had to go to the father and pay that dowry, right, and then right. you get the woman. Right. They still keep Ishmael is still man. doing that, because yeah, yeah. that's an Eastern uh, way of life. Right, right. And we're completely separated from our right. original heritage. Right. They still doing that shit. That's why I was saying, I was saying to somebody, them motherfuckers still keeping our customs, man. They women still covered up. All that, man. And the, Number and, dresses on. And the nation that is meant for, they women don't want to do that. The Lord made the Lord made the nation of Israel, the Israelite man, the greatest man on the face of the earth, the highest quality man on the face of the earth, and they own women don't want to do what's right. 
Bro. And the Lord said that I was a curse unto us for our disobedience. Bro. When you look at Ishmael, right? The Lord didn't really curse Ishmael. He cursed Edom. Right. Ishmael wasn't chosen, but he blessed Ishmael. Right. Remember, right. still Abraham's son. Right, right, right. 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 You know, so he right. said he was going to make him a prince. Right. So, you know, that's, why, that's, why, that's why the shit crazy that Elon and Arabs keep the cusses, man. Yeah. <laughs> DJ women don't even want to. Bro. That shit is crazy. Go ahead, huh? Jeremiah 31 and 22. This shit is crazy. Uh, yep. How long wilt thou go above, O oh, thy backsliding back daughter. daughter? Right. For the Lord has created a new thing in the earth. A woman, a woman shall, shall come past a man. man. That goes crazy what y'all was talking about. And, and that's going that's not gonna work out in their favor. And it's not working out in their favor now. When you look at depression and how these women get when they get older and they figure out that that just living a career life wasn't really working. Right. And then being a um a, a harlot or a whore didn't work out either. Here it is, you've been a city girl in the Tatiana all this time, and now you wait till February 14th, and now you wanna get wiped up. And Jake fall for that. That's simple, man. Here she is. She been a city girl in a Tatiana all all 2019 and 2018. She been busting it down all 2018 and early 2019. And now she take a break to get cuffed, and it works. Come on, man. The Lord would the Lord would have stoned her with stones until she died, man. That's how we play it in our book, in the book of Yahweh Shemiah Shah. That's facts. True. True. Right, son. Go ahead. This is Isaiah three and three and twelve. Right. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. Right. That was the point. The children that are the basis of men, man. Right. The you are Edomites. the children that he's talking about. Them. Right. You are the children ruling over them. And right. that's spiritual too, because what did the Lord tell uh, the serpent? He said, uh, "You shall lick the dust." Right. Meaning you was gonna be on the bottom, man. When you go in to lick the dust, it talks about utter defeat. Meaning you're so low to the ground, you can eat the dust. Right. Just like it tells uh, the daughter of uh, Babylon to do what? Sit in the dust. Sit in the dust. And what does the Lord call this man? The basis of men. Oh, uh, uh, Isaiah 24 and 10. It say, uh, let me read it. Isaiah 24? Isaiah 24 and 10. This is Isaiah chapter 24. Might be Jay. Starting at verse 10. Ain't no telling. You can see in the back. See the back. Oh, see that red net? The, the show is Isaiah 24. Yeah. And 10. yeah. Isaiah 24 and 10. The city of confusion is broken down. And that's what the point is. The point about confusion. Come down and sit in the dust. Oh, burden door of Babylon. Confusion. Everything is destroyed. It's over. You can finish reading it, though. They want to get, they want to take away the damn uh, sections on the driver's license, man. Utter confusion. Confusion. Oh, I got a piece of They want to take away your section. They want to leave it on, uh, like, options and like this. Yeah. I got a piece of Other. <laughs> wow. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 26, verse 5. For he bringeth down them that dwell on high, right. the lofty city. He layeth it low. He layeth it low. Even to the ground, he bringeth it even to the dust. So that shows you that that ground and that dust is representing a low state, man. Right. The basis of men. And the Lord is about to lift us out of the ground, off of the dust. Huh. Well, uh, where does it say, uh, uh, tell Zion confusion. to shake off that dust? Right. Come on, man. The Lord is lifting us out of that lower state. Out of that confusion. Out of that, we don't. Yeah. <laughs> and it's spiritual. The so-called white man being looked at as the hunk of the earth, that shit is over with, man. Oh. The veil has been lifted. And now you find out he don't even want these women. And then he'll oh, tell Jake man. he can't have but one woman. I would destroy this mouth in the face of the covering cast. What was that? Like Wizard of Oz when they found out? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when Toto went back down. Yeah, Toto went back down. Yeah. 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 He back there working some machine. Is this the man? Right. Is this the man they call? Right, this the man that made the earth tremble, that did shake kingdoms. And that's that's spiritual too, because a wizard is what? A male witch. And if you 
really think about it too. The ones that really run this place, they some weak, decrepit, old. Yeah. You, the, the, the weakest Jake can destroy these Rothschilds, man. Oh. Yeah, you Google J uh, Google Jacob man. Rothschild. That man. They look like. <laughs> come on, man. Here it is. He done spent thirty years drinking baby's blood to, to, to get his strength, <laughs> and he's still decrepit. Hey, that's how you know it's the divine intervention, man. For them, for them, for them, the rule, man. What the hell? That's crazy. And to rule the other nation, the Persians. That that was a war nation, man. You know. That's why it's like it's like Esau is, is really the so-called white man is really the enemy. You know, but the other nations, they just like they impressionable. They like children. They gonna follow who's ever in power. They just like children. When uh the person